Right, you lot, welcome to the latest Polly versus, but we're not calling it Pierce. This is Polly the Revenge sort of thing, where I don't know, the powers that be at Matrix has decided to put me well and truly out my comfort zone on the canal. So I'm just going to choose this coaching day. I am out with the roach legend himself, Mr. Pollard, and you're going to teach me how to catch roach today while bashing me up at the same time. Well, I, think. I hope so. That is the plan, well, I hope isn't so. it? It's yes. a lovely day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cheers for that. We'd we'll, we'll love being here today. But to be fair, it is quite sheltered, quite nice in this. We are at, we're on the Steak and Kidney Canal, which is how they got me here, thinking I'm going to get a pie out of it, but that no was just chance. a lie. The camera crew's too tight. No <laughs> chance. We, where are we? We're on Stain, Stanilands, Stain, Stanilands Stanley Marina, Marina, which is apparently the pretty much stack. I reckon yeah. I'd draw here if it was a match. This is the sort of place I need to be It's where fair. you'd be. Yeah. yeah. I reckon you'd be next I'll, to me. I'll be on the other side of the barge there, yeah. yeah probably. <laughs> anyway, on with this. Let's get on with catching some fish. We're going to have a draw, pal, sort of. We're going right. to have heads or tails, and the winner can get to pick. We're going to sit on one nine seven, no, 297 two nine seven. and 296, because they're a bit sheltered. Yeah. Apparently that's a good bit, but it's a bit windy. So, yeah. heads or tails, Polly? Heads. Yeah, about right. Um, well, I'll go here. I'll I go like first that. one. That's got the pole roller behind it and everything. Exactly, the, the exactly. Pole. So yeah. Let's get some kit up, and then I'm going to get the bestest roach coaching session of my life. I was going have this bull a commercial. Come on, Polly. What's that for? Is that your butties? Sandwiches. That's my sandwiches. Mr. Pollard, I'd like three hours of your finest roach catching demonstrations, if possible. No problem. And, and no through. fishing pellet. That's all I've got. I've got pellets and lobworms. <laughs> right. That is it. So go on. All in, Mark. Okay, Come on. let's get going. Please be gentle. I will. You won't. Right. So, what I'm fully expected to be smashed right up in this situation. I've still done my own work, haven't I? Because I've always got to, and I've got some very good friends that have helped me out a lot who know this canal very, very well. So, we're keeping things really, really simple because that's what I've got to do. Simple as, so I'm fishing one bread line down the middle with some stones in. What's all that about? Put stones in your ground, mate. What is all that about? But anyway, yeah, that's stuck. Um, yeah, one line with, with some bread in down the middle. Another line here that I'm going to cup in that many casters. That's meant to be 100. That's what I'm putting in, 100 casters. 100 casters. They're going in over there, a few more, and I shake them in in a big area, and then I loose three casters on the boat, and that's it. I'm literally fishing three lines, because I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. So I need to keep things very, very simple. It's nowhere near as deep as I thought it'd be. I mean, I thought it was going to be a lot deeper, but it very much makes sense. Oh, it's the wind, yeah. Come on, let me get over there. It very much makes sense with the size of rigs that the lads were on the boat. With how deep it is now, I've got sort of like five to six foot, which seems perfect. I'm gonna shake them in a lovely big area to flip it over that. Yeah, that's still stuck. We'll get the lads on that in a minute. And then the other one, I'm just gonna cup in 10 just for accuracy. But then I'm gonna loose feed over that one as well. With a couple of pinkies in it, I don't know why. Right, I'm just going to cup in orange, oh well, a tangerine size of punch crumb. I've got a punch line. It's just down the middle, which is probably about 10 metres towards Jamie. Put one ball in there. And then I'm going to have a pinky line. And that's going to be to my left. Some pinkies in there, a few pinkies. I've got a mixture, my favourite mix, with a little bit of damp lean. 
that's my uh, Sonia Bates natural black roach and sweet skimmer. And that's going to my left. Putting two balls there, I'm going to take it easy because we've had a lot of cold weather last week or so. So I've put some damp lean with it, not to put too much feed feed value in the ground bait. So I'm going to have a 13 metre line with hemp, just solely hemp in front of me, and I'll put some mince worms over against or towards the boat, about a metre off the boat, with some caster and drip some caster over that and hopefully, hopefully, maybe pick up a better fish later on. But we only got three hours, so. Right. Them in there, a few casters. We'll see. Right, I'm gonna start. My big heavy rig, which I think's that one. Set up two rigs for this bread lark, and I've set up two rigs for casters. One really heavy rig, or 1.7 rig for punch, and one point five rig for punch. And then I've set up two 4B14s for casters. Polly's already trying to fish me peg. Is that less than 101? Take the next person out. straight in. I've started on a big punch. Don't know why. Because apparently I might catch a decent fish first go. I've got a bit of bristle out but I need to like feel my way in because I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. And I probably picked the wrong area to see me float because it's lovely and dark there but I didn't want to fish there because it goes it raises to the left. I didn't want to fish in that, right? Let me pay attention to what I'm doing. So I'm just starting on the bread now. I've got a three quarter gram float on there. Um, 08 to a 20 hook, just off bottom. It's about seven foot deep there, so I just slot the rig to get it down over my punch scrum that I put in. You normally with punch you expect to bite sort of straight away but um, not knowing the venue you don't know. It's been very cold so I think it's going to be very hard anyway but I've got a four inch hook length and the olivet's probably eight inches from my hook with two droppers so it just gets down straight over my punch crumb. Doing a couple of pinkies over that pinky line. Cut the casters across. I might have to come a little bit more off bottom because it just tends to be just catching the bottom. I just want it to just run through, just off bottom. I hope that's over my punch cum that I put in. We're going for bin bag, body. What do we reckon? Log, nappy, definitely no fish. But it's today's excitement, so I'm going to play it. Oh, it stopped moving. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's coming. What are we going for? Oh, I can see it. It's a bream. Look at it waving its tail at me. Big bream. Oh, no, it's not. It's a bag. Yeah. I ain't caught a bag for ages, either. 
It's nice. I've never had to deal with that before, so it's like a novelty. This is normally a carp at this point, but no, I've got a bin bag instead. Right, so I'm on my casters now. I went straight in, laid it in, and it went under. Which I'm pretty sure that means it's solid. I've just swapped that bread line to some pinkies. I need to sort my feed out, just tighten it up a little bit. It's a little bit messy. I need to work on me roller as well, so I can do this in one hit. I probably can, I'm probably just being a wimp. And we're bagging now, that's two and two. And the casters. Hmm. So yeah, apparently we loose fed one. I should get loads of bites on. And then we big potted one, I'll leave that. That's what you might catch some brown things on or some much bigger fish anyway. I'm just trying to feed 10 casters every go. I'm not going to get too giddy. This seed sort of 8 or 10. And I plumbed up, I'd have loved to have plumbed up two lines, uh, two rigs, but I don't have that time. So I know it's like 10 inches or 8 inches shallower on the boat. So I can always change this rig and go a bit close to the boat if I need to. We just caught two, lovely and quick there. I need to dot that float down a bit. It's like a flipping lighthouse. Both of them have come on the settle, both of them bites. I mean, fish are fish, so if they're going to be through the water because they don't want to be at the bottom because it's flipping freezing, that could quite easily be what's happening. I remember the canal wants to go to the right here. Just need to lay that in again, but I've got a bit of weed there. So I can't do that just yet. I definitely need to dot that float down because it's like a lighthouse. I'll put it over the lily. So let's back and sort that rig out. It's like really, really high. I don't know if we've lost the shot, maybe that's why. <laughs> Good, but he needs dotting down definitely. So we've put another number 12 on that, it's going to take a half inch off it as well. Let's try and get it moving. Just check that caster's all right, yeah. So just feed before I go in, just to be dead accurate. Put some pinkies. Giving them in. And the lads have said it could be very much a rotatey job. When you catch, say, four fish all over your peg before some big ones arrive or before it goes flat. One more till there. fish, I reckon mine are two ounce and Polly's are an ounce. That looks a bit nicer now. I'd still like it a bit lower, but...
Probably get sheltered out for swinging this, but no better than not. Not allowed to net them, Jamie. It had a leaf attached to it, so I felt guilty <laughs> if I didn't. It's like three ounces. Well, I've been fishing for over halfway now and um, it's been very hard. I've had a few fish on Pinky, I'm just having a look on Caster, um, but I haven't had a bite on that, been five, ten minutes on that. But on the short line over my punch and then over my Pinky line, I've had a, one net perch, probably three ounce, a net skimmer, and then probably ten or fifteen roach, but very hard and very hard to put them together. They just don't want to line up. I think it's just where it's so cold, ice water's gone in and it's just, just completely put them off. Oh, that went then on the caster. Oh, it might be a perch, might be a little bit better roach. Very awkward with the bank behind me. I had to put my extensions on my winder. Yeah, cast a roach. Oof. So, that's first bite on caster, but that was 10 minutes out there, so just everything's going to be very slow and very hard today. I don't know. How are you getting on, Jamie? I don't like it. It's cold. And no one's brought me a pie yet. They will. Don't worry, we can go home soon. Can we? Yeah. Are they going to rock up in the edge? Sorry? Are they going to turn up down this edge? Oof. Anywhere today. Nothing's getting netted anymore. Unless it's a bream, everything's getting swung now. Okay, that's what we're at. But now, joking aside, I'm nearly enjoying it. Nearly. It's just the wind's a bit of a making life a bit awkward, and I'm understanding my rig as well now. It's crazy. I was getting indications before and just not realising it. But I've got to hold everything so tight and keep in touch with everything. You just get little blips now and again. And you whack it and there's a roach on the end. But yeah, the only thing I'm considering is putting a cup on, which it feels wrong. It feels dirty, doesn't it, putting a cup on, but I feel like I'll just be able to keep everything a bit neater. I mean, with it being so wide at like what, what is it, 14, 16 metres where I'm feeding. And with there not being billions of fish there, it'd probably keep it a bit sexier. But really don't know. Really, see, I'm getting bites. Things are happening now. Things are getting better. Now that I'm being a bit more aggressive and keeping things tight, it's improving. I dodged the lily pad. I've even landed a perch. Which I never land a perch. They always fall off. This is another perch. What are we doing? I don't even care. We're going for it. Yeah, ain't funny in a boat. We land the nets all the way over there. I'm not reaching for that. It's not happening, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. too awkward grabbing that land the net. It's got to be worthwhile. But no, I'm liking it now. Yeah. It's gonna be dead aggressive. Feed loads of bait. I need to blow me back to pieces, or catch some fish. But it's feeling better. It does feel. As long as I can be accurate, same as any fishing in it. As long as I can be accurate and lay me rigging properly and keep tight hold of it, I catch a fish. So it's all good. I'm still feeding a few pinkies, although I've got nearly no interest in going back on that. 
the half ounce roach don't do it for me. I lost a shot. That sat up a bit then. But it's going in nice. I'm fishing a 414 is like a, a delicate carbon slim with a 1.2 mil solid bristle just to make everything as nice as it can. Maybe I could have gone a bit lighter with bristles, but it's a bit pooey light. So. I think it's about right. And I've just got it shot with tens, like a, a really big long strung taper of tens. Uh, the only thing I wish I'd set up was a 4B12s, but it might be a bit too nasty. Don't know, might have been a bit too like that. Still, just got to let things happen. See them little indications like I had then. They are the bites. I'm waiting for something. It's not going to happen. It's moody. So we're going to carry on. Old narrow. Still behind Polly as expected. As expected, but hey ho. Never know. There might be a big brown one waiting for me that pulls me out of it. Apparently they catch a few big brown ones here, so you never know. Might catch a breams. But we'll see. We'll see. Just carry on. Rotating me to cast the lines, as Alan would say. And catch some roach. I want to catch a pike as well. It'd be nice to look a pike. That big fish I hooked first fish, that weren't a pike. That was a perch. It's just on number three, Alazi, so you don't actually anything bigger than three ounce, and it feels mafis. Just keeps catching up on something there, me rig. It's not a fish. It's very messy, not like that. Keep flicking it in. See, I don't know whether it's because it's so clear as well. And if I rest it. I can go on it and get bites straight away. Catch two or three fish really, really quick. And then I stop getting bites. So it could just bring me put. Don't know if that were a big fish or not. Could have been, that could have been a proper fish though. I don't think it were. But it could have been. Oh, this is fun when you get a barbed duck in you. Where is it? There he is. Oh, we got him. That wasn't too bad. You wouldn't have even helped me then, would you? You'd have left that stuck on my shoulder if I had a barbed duck. Just kept giggling at me. So it was wedged in. Polly's getting an odd bite on casters, so he's... I've come back on the short line, two fish on the caster. Um, one I netted was probably three ounce, four ounce, but just I just feel it's just not right. I think this pinky would be better. Just try and catch what I can. That was the bottom then. Had me going for a minute. It's just shallow up a little bit. The canal stopped moving, I think maybe. I might have dropped a couple of inches, but I'm just going to come down a couple of inches, see if that makes any difference. So I know there's a few roach there, but they're just not feeding. I just don't think whatever I do, I'm going to get them to feed. I've just got to just try and nick what I can. I just don't want to feed. I'm just thinking, I've just started firing a few pinkies over my castle on me because I just feel the fish might be over there towards the boat, just probably the warmest place, place in the canal. I know it's Jamie's picking a few off on the front of it, but um, 
I said, I'll have a little look there in a minute. Like I said earlier, I just think whatever you do, you're just going to nick a few fish. It's not really going to happen. Polly, what's that? Big perch. Is that a perch? Does that count? <laughs> not today. It must count. It's like a big chub. <laughs> Come put it in Polly's peg for me. <laughs> He's been greedy. I ain't caught a pike for years. <laughs> it's made his day. Right, we're coming into the last bit. I'm loving it now. I was a bit, mm, to start with, I'm very much enjoying myself now. So I'm catching some fish on casters. I caught a big pike. I caught a pike for flipping a 15 year. But yeah, it's good. It is a, there's a lot of fish. I've been very lucky with the info off the lads being pretty much bang on. But yeah, it's just nice now. Just feeding some casters, catching some fish. I don't think there's not much I can change, it's just those two lines. I've just got to keep ticking over, haven't I? So, I mean, big potted one that I've had loads of bait on. I haven't caught one on yet, I've caught a couple of little diddy fish. But that's how everyone said it'd be. You've just got to be patient, and all of a sudden you'll drop on it and you'll nail five or six. So, I'll keep it whenever this goes quiet. Quick look on that. And yeah, it's very much a rotation y place. But I would, I'd like to come here a bit more and get my teeth into this. It's just a shame it's a hundred and flipping 15 mile away, but yeah, I'm quite enjoying catching some natural fish. But I don't like the weather. The weather's getting a bit uh, miserable now, isn't it? But no, other than that, we're going to crack on, keep swapping my lines, and hopefully, I'd love to get lucky and hook something a bit more special. It'd be nice to catch a big skin bob or something that. I think now's the time when it could happen, but we'll see. Well, we've got about 40, 50 minutes left and I just keep getting odd little bursts, two or three fish, they nothing, they just won't keep coming. I went over on cast, red two fish, but um, I can't make that work. Um, I've caught pinky over my punch line, lighter rig, I can't catch on punch, I had one fish on it at the start. It's just nicking fish, but I'm, I've been feeding a few pinkies over, so I might just have a look now on pinky over, I've been feeding caster as well. But... Um, they just won't really respond. They just, well, they don't want to feed. The water's so cold. But um, I thought it'd be the fish are like little ice blocks. I mean, they're so cold. There's so much ice water gone in here, which has really affected it. But um, so I've caught a few fish, but it's been very hard, very hard. Can't change the hook. I've got an 18 on here. Let's see if they'll take double pink out there. You never know. Might be just the bait.
Another big per or good pitch. I'd love to land this one. Let's feel a better one. It's clinging on. There's nothing more stressful than playing a pitch. Is there like a decent one? They just like falling off because the. A couple of them, a couple of nice ones. What's that, Ad? Six ounce, eight ounce, eight ounce he is. So I've had two of them for a pound. These barbed dogs are flipping hard work. Look at him. Predator specialist I've been today. The, pr the predator. I've never seen that film. Right, Ad. The weather has well and truly turned for the worse, hasn't it? I'm well and truly ready for me steak and kidney pie now, to be fair, that surely must be on its way. So I think we're about done. It's been, a, it's been nice, but I don't know. I'll have a catch up with Polly in a minute and let you all know what we think. It's been very close. I think I might have got lucky with some bonus fish, but we shall see. So, are we going to the pub, Paul? We should have gone earlier. I think it's time to go, in it. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Yes, yeah, we pack up. All out. Yeah. Right. Oh, I enjoyed that, but I didn't because no, it's minging, isn't it? It was cold and it was never really going to happen, but we caught a few. It we is. It's still few. nice to be somewhere different. I properly yeah, enjoyed that. Yeah. Go on, get right. the fish out and let's see what we're doing. Just go nice and slow for me so I can work out how these work. Yeah, we're good, so we're zeroed on that. Beautiful. Do you reckon I can do that leaving it hooked on, think? I can. I dropped a slice of bread in at the start. You put two nets in? No. Oh, this is old school tricks, isn't it? Where you throw yeah, off your I bait and you keep net. Bread in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I threw two plummets in my net. Come on. There is like more bait in there than what I've used, but we'll let it go for this time. <laughs> Just for this one. Well, that was good guessing, boss. Five pound, five out. Ooh, I'm going to say five. I'll give you five, six, because I love you. Let's oh. go five, five and a half. Five, <laughs> five, five, six. Let's not funny about. Five pound, six. Right. Let's put these back. Right, next. Yeah. Right, I'm in. not feeling as confident anymore. I was feeling quite. Oh. That old chestnut. No, but I'm not, because I don't feel like I've caught anything. Oh, well done. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I've got one more. Yeah. One more eight ounce roach. Six down there, I reckon. Yeah. 13, that'll do. 6.30, well Thank done. Thank you very Jamie. much, Polly. We'd have caught 10 pounds in five hours, innit? Well done, Jamie. That'd have been good. Thank well you, Mark. Done, right, all the way there, Mark, and I'm colder now than I've been all day. Well done, Sam. Thank you very much. I've got well lucky, done. and I must admit, I've been very lucky to some very good information off lads that uh, Tom Scully, Matt Godfrey, Lee Kerry, and Frankie have all helped me out, <laughs> right. which very much helps on a venue yeah. like this, doesn't it? But it's lovely, it's nice catching some different fish. Yeah, well, I thought at first it was going to be awful, and then we put a few fish together. You know, I caught a few more fish, but you had some better fish, some nice fish, a couple of nice roach there, real nice roach. Someone cast us, and wasn't a pike. it? What would you that do different? Count. Now that you've fished it properly, because I If I come back again, I would feed, I'd put a cast line in towards the boat, but I'd, I'd feed pinkies over. Would you? Yeah, oh, like feed that. pinkies over and then fish a light rig and a heavier rig over. Still have the lines down the middle, but go over towards yeah. the boat where I think the fish are gone. The fish want to be in the cover, yeah. they don't want to be here. I mean, we struggled down the middle, it was just nicking a few fish, it was hard. So I like that. So I think the that fish want to be ground there. pinkies tight across. Yeah, Might a, a ball, really ball of fast. ground bait and then just loose feed over it, pinky over it. Yeah, just to home them in a bit. Yeah. I felt like they were all over the place with casters. Yeah. I, mean, I put that. a hemp line in, but I didn't even have a look on it because we weren't catching enough to have a look on it. Yeah. Uh, it's just gone so cold. Ice water's gone in snow water, salt as well, and I think it just sours the fish. And Well, you could see you couldn't line them up. Yeah. So and when you thought moving. it was going to happen, no. No. But still, very, very enjoyable. Thank you all very, very much for watching. If you did like it, click on that like button and feel free to subscribe as well. It massively helps out and we will bring you as much content as we possibly can to the Matrix YouTube channel. But for now, from me and Polly, thank you very much and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.